This land is native land. This land is native land. From the Iroquois to Coast Salish Islands. From the Tule River tribe to the Navajo. Good morning and welcome to the Unitarian Church of Lincoln on a rather unseasonably cool July Sunday morning in Nebraska. My name is Mary Kay Stilwell. I'm a worship associate and I have to, I'm getting instructions. Um, I'm a worship associate here at the church. I'd like this opportunity right off the bat to welcome Reverend Bordner joining us from San Francisco via YouTube. She's not a stranger to those of you who attended Unlearning Conversations yesterday, a conversation about beyond land acknowledgement. And this is a topic we've been talking about all summer and thinking about what we want to include um, and what we want to do. Reverend Kia Bordner is a descendant of the Tigawa people of El, El Slata de Sur, of Maria Teresa Baca, whose nation has been lost to colonialization, and the Yaqui people. She's the mother of four children. Being a mother, she writes, influences her decisions, focuses her vision, and inspires her advocacy in representing the needs of mothers and children. Reverend Bordner has been actively involved with Unitarian Universalism in, in various capacities. She served on the steering committee of DRUM, Diverse Revolutionary UU Mini Multicultural Ministries. She was a founding member and co-leader of the Black Indigenous People of Color chapter of UU Min Ministers. And she's an elected member of the UUA Pacific Southwest District, where she's serving on the transitions team right now as the, reg as the region um, reevaluates and the uh, structure evolves. She's a co-founding facilitator of the Indigenous-led Unlearning Conversations. So welcome to you from San Diego. How we how we've met together over the past several years has often changed. No matter whether in person, on Zoom, by live stream, worship together is a chance to deepen our connection with the sources of meaning in our lives and to proclaim who we are and what we're about. Today's service was carefully designed and assembled by Reverend Bordner so that we can see and hear a variety of native artists and thinkers from various parts of North America. This isn't your ordinary service. 
Reverend Bordner has created a Sunday program that I hope will educate and delight you, make you think and rethink your ideas of what it means to be a contemporary Native person, as well as fill you with awe for our great land. Our congregation aspires to be a loving, anti-racist community, uniting reason with spiritual exploration to transform ourselves and our world. This is at the heart of our covenant that we pass each time we enter our church. Ours is a big vision, and we know that creating a loving community begins with welcome. So whether this is your first time, your 500th time, if you came here hopeful or heartbroken, whether in person or watching live stream, whatever your age, your gender, your skin color, whomever you love, you are welcome here. Let us join together in love. Let us pause, take a deep breath or two, and begin. My name is Aspen, and I will be offering a song, a welcome song from my nation, the Cariso Comicruzo tribe of Texas, otherwise known as the Estocna. Aliaho, Aliaquanude, Aliaho, Aliaquanude, Aquanuha. Long, long ago, therefore it is so. She is here all around us. She is here deep inside us. She is here and everywhere. Weaver of galaxies and universe, she enfolds us transforms us and holds us. She is here all around us. She is here deep inside us. She is here and everywhere. Birth mother of all heavens. Birth mother of every star. Birth mother of each planet birth mother of everything, life bringer, thought maker, song weaver, receiver of all our dreams. She is here all around us. She is here deep inside us. She is here and everywhere. In this sacred time and space, we share stories from many traditions, from many people. Stories can be gifted, sold, traded, or stolen. Because stories are medicine, we need to be responsible for how we use them. Stories share truths, honor ancestors, and shape the future. They are magic, transforming both the teller and the listener. They are created to answer questions and should in themselves create new questions. Once a story is birthed, it exists in the universe forever. Once a story is received, it should inform our choices and our lives. Once a story is felt, the kernel of it stays with us. In the time before the earth was created, there were two worlds, 
One was in the sky, and the sky people lived there. The other was covered in water, and the water creatures lived there. It happened that a pregnant sky woman fell through a hole in the sky. Maybe she was pushed. Maybe she tripped. Maybe she jumped. Any way about it, she fell from the sky. A flock of birds, maybe blue heron, maybe geese, maybe ducks. Ugh, any way about it, they caught her and slowed her descent. They tried to carry her back up to the hole through which she had fallen, but she was heavy with pregnancy. So they set her down onto the back of Great Turtle. But the back of Great Turtle was not large enough for her and her children who were coming. I say children because Sky Woman was pregnant with twins. Various animals try diving deep down into the water to find some soil, some mud, some earth, as it were. Maybe it was the water beetle. Maybe it was the toad. Maybe it was a muskrat. Any way about it, some creature came back with just enough mud to spread on the back of Great Turtle. And the mud expanded until it was the land upon which all the people would live. Turtle Island. Remember the sky that you were born under. Know each of the stars' stories. Remember the moon. Know who she is. Remember the sun's birth at dawn. That is the strongest point of time. Remember sundown and the giving away tonight. Remember your birth, how your mother struggled to give you form and breath. You are evidence of her life and her mother's and hers. Remember your father. He is your life also. Remember the earth whose skin you are, red earth, black earth, yellow earth, white earth, brown earth, we are earth. Remember the plants, trees, animal life, who all have their tribes, their families, their histories too. Talk to them, listen to them. They are alive poems. Remember the wind, remember her voice. She knows the origin of this universe. Remember you are all people and all people are you. Remember you are this universe and this universe is you. Remember all is in motion, is growing, is you. Remember language comes from this. Remember the dance language is, that life is, remember. In an acorn cap, the story of the sky woman and the animals of the water world is the basics of the creation story for many North American nations. A creation story with people in relationship with the rest of nature and the universe co-creators of existence as equally sacred. For many indigenous peoples, another chapter of their creation story is about how their people literally came from the mountains, the trees, and other parts of the earth, that those are their ancestors as well. And this is only one part of the story about why indigenous people are so connected to those lands. The truth about stories is that that's all we are. And as my grandfather's people, the Tigua say, Kakwexi, now you have a tale.
There's a Anasazi saying that whether we walk among our own people or alone among the hills, happiness in life's walking depends on how we feel about others in our hearts. Each Sunday, when we gather together in person and by streaming, we take a moment to share joys and sorrows, the highlights and concerns of those we walk with. This is a central part of our service, a way of sharing and also a way of deepening our relationship with one another. A caring community lightens our burdens and brightens our joy. I'm turning off the sound here. Okay, we're good. You don't need me in stereo. I invite you to say aloud or type into the chat your name or the name of another you wish to be remembered, either in sorrow or concern. Laura. All who love Madeline Dallas. Michael Malone. Happy birthday to Shirley Maley on her ninetieth birthday. Happy birthday, Shirley Maley, on her ninetieth birthday. Harry and Karen's forty fifth anniversary, forty first anniversary. I got my hand signals crossed. Marty. Marty. Dave. Dave. There are a couple in the chat from Priscilla Handy. Lost Stories of Our Lost Cultures. From Barbara Pearson, Concern, Meredith Recovering from COVID. Our President Recovering from COVID. Our President Recovering from COVID, yes. There's one more sorrow uh, that Reverend Bordner passed along. She added a sorrow that she couldn't be here with us in person. Now I invite you to say aloud or type into the chat your name or the name of another you wish to be remembered in joy. Harry and Karen's 41st anniversary. Three. Free collard and kale? Kale in the gathering place from Arden. That's today. Frank's and my son, daughter-in-law, and Titan, their four-year-old, are no longer in quarantine. They're finished with COVID. Martha, a wonderful hostess. Martha, an incredible gardener and cook. And, and incredible gardener and cook. Birthday. Whose birthday? Caitlin's, Caitlin's birthday. Friends and neighbors who watch you and watch over us. Okay, from the chat. Brother-in-law Don, who started chemo and radiation for lung cancer this week. That's from Mary Jane. From Duncan, Ann Cased. Landfield turned 100 years old today. Happy birthday, Mom. 
And from Priscilla, wow, Duncan, please wish her a happy birthday. I'd like to add another joy, um, which is Linda Brown and the AV team who've played such a critical role in our summer program and in particular putting together today's service. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Some sorrows and joys are held so close to the heart they may not be ready to share aloud. Let's take a moment of silence to honor them. May we remember those who spoke here, those who wrote in the chat, and those we hold in our hearts in silence. Tout la cluse, on a la passe caille. Tout la cluse, on a la passe caille. Hey, caille, on a la passe caille. Hey, caille, on a la passe caille. Tout la cluse, on a la passe caille. Tout la cluse, on a la passe caille. Hey, caille, on a la passe caille. Hey, Kai, you know, let pass the Kai. To La Cleze, you know, let pass the Kai. To La Cleze, you know, let pass the Kai. Hey, Kai, you know, let pass the Kai. Hey, Kai, you know, let pass the Kai. Each week we take up a collection to support the work of this church and our partners in the community. We do this because just as we all grow from our participation in our community, we all give back through our time, our talent, and our treasures. Uh, we'll take up a collection here in the uh, church, but you can also give by texting UCL Lincoln and the amount to 7326. That's UCL Lincoln and the amount to 73256. The offering will now be gratefully received.
My grandson, for so long I have awaited this day, for this opportunity to sit with you eye to eye, heart to heart, and breath to breath. I have longed to see your face, to touch your cheek, and to smell the sweetness of your breath. I have longed to hold you in my lap, to know how your head would feel nestled against my breast as I sung to you. Grandson, Take my hand, walk with me, and listen to my story. Let me tell you who I was so that you can remember who you are. We are of this land, Bedowebskik, the place where the white rocks come out of the water. We are of these people, the Wabanage, the people of the dawn. You were born Awasus Negakagagus, Bear and Crow Medicine Clans. The land that you placed your feet upon contains my footprints. The air that you breathe contains my breath. In your blood, your DNA, you carry the wisdom of seven mothers' daughters and seven fathers' sons. You are the seventh generation. The circle ends and is renewed within each cell of your body. Know this, for just as I was responsible for carrying the seeds of your being within me, 
so too are you responsible for carrying the seeds of the seventh generation yet to come. The blood that runs through you has nourished the soil beneath your feet. Millions have died to ensure that you would live. The road that you walk upon has been paved with the blood of your ancestors. Do not dishonor them. Walk this red road with your head held high. Place your feet with certainty, knowing that the answers you lie, you seek lie within you. You are never alone. You carry a piece of all of us in the matrix of your spirit. The time that I live in is one of crises. As caretakers of this earth, our people have been charged with a heavy burden. Many have lost their way, blinded by generational wounds that have been ingrained into the public psyche, deafened by the sounds of justifiable homicide and historic references to a people destined to be conquered. Warriors of today do not wear leathers, feathers, or war bonnets. Warriors of today wear business suits. They battle in the courtroom, boardroom, and before Congress. They are in our schools, our clinics, and our banks. They secure our future by preserving the past. They teach the truth of our history and inspire us to remember who we are in accordance with ancient kinships. They protect traditional lands, repatriate the bones of our ancestors, and secure funding for the health and well-being of our children. Warriors of today carry the seeds for sustainable agriculture. The harv they harvest medicinal plants and teach our young people how to survive. With honor and respect for earth, they do not kill their grandchildren to feed their children. The warrior of today may not look different, may look different from those listed in history in the history books, but their mission remains intact to serve and protect their people and ensure the survival of generations yet to come. It is this mission, this responsibility that you must never forget. For so long, I have wanted to stand beside you to walk upon the banks of this river that has sustained my people for generations, to fish these waters my grandfather taught me to fish, to navigate these islands that have provided us with shelter, and to tell you the stories of our legends and our myths. I have wished to sing to you the songs of our people as you drifted off to sleep, to share the beauty of our language, to describe to you the magic of this world in a tongue that is ancient and true. I have longed to share with you the threads of indigenous knowledge sacred knowledge passed down from generation to generation to impart to you truths that stand the test of time of honor integrity and a life way filled with respect it is this sacred knowledge that teaches us our connectivity to all things it trains our ears to hear the voices of our children beckoning to be born to hear the song upon the wind that calms our fears and the whispers of the trees that guide us along our path. It is the reassurance of the land as we place our feet upon our journey and the lull of the waters as they carry us into dream time. Sacred knowledge teaches us our place in creation as children of our people, children of the earth, and co-creators of this universe. It teaches us of grandmother moon and grandfather sun, of light and darkness, of hard work and rest. Sacred knowledge holds us in balance through the ever-changing tides of our existence, keeping us connected to each other and to all of creation. 
If you forget all else that I've shared with you, I ask that you remember this. The gift that you have been granted through the seeds of sacred knowledge contains all the wisdom of our collective past and the guidance needed to lead us to our place in the future. This gift will teach you all you need to know of who I was and will lead you to where you need to be for the seventh generation yet to come. My grandson, the time has come for me to leave you. Remember my words and know that each time you put your foot upon this land or in these waters, that I will be with you, standing beside my grandfather and all those who have come before you. First, I want to thank Patsy Gray for this beautiful drum, Malali, and um, I'd like to share the Strong Woman song. that provides the heart with impetus, fuels the brain, and propels the corn plant from seed to fruit. Nakute Nakute Takaman, or long, long ago, therefore it is so. She is here all around us. Remember the sky that you were born under. Know each of the stars' stories. The children of a family, the siblings, the cousins, the youngest generation were playing together. While the mothers and aunts and grandmothers were sitting nearby, working on various household chores, talking and laughing as they were working. One of the grandchildren came close and asked the grandmother, what, what is that word you just said? What does that mean? 
hush, it's gibberish. Habla espanol. And the grandmother waved off the curious grandchild who just shrugged and went back to play. Now the women had been speaking to each other in the language of their mothers and their grandmothers. But this grandmother made the heartbreaking decision to keep this language from her grandchildren. The grandmother insisted, nosotros somos mexicanas, no indias. How does obsidian forget the hiss of magma? How does water forget the cloud of its birth? Nakute nakute takamen. Maybe after another 50 years, not as long ago. She's here deep inside us. Remember the moon? Know who she is. Remember the sun's birth at dawn, that is the strongest point of time. Remember sundown and the giving away tonight. One of the grandmother's grandchildren was now herself a grandmother, and she told the story to her grandchildren of how her grandmother made them speak Spanish and not the language the adults had been speaking. Can wild iris forget the dark belly of the bulb? Does a scar forget the torn, raw edge of flesh? Nakute Nakute Takaman. Maybe after 40 more years, really not as long ago. She is here and everywhere. Remember your birth, how your mother struggled to give you form and breath. You are evidence of her life and her mother's and hers. My grandmother, who had been taught to speak Spanish, became an ancestor. And this granddaughter learned that my great, great grandmother had left the homeland of our people and moved her family to a town where they were not known, where they could be Mexican and not Indians, where her grandchildren could be safe from the residential schools. Hands that reached inside chaos brought me out into the world. Mouth that breathed into mine a language wild enough to wake me. Nakute, nakute, takaman. Or maybe it's now, or maybe it's sometime in the future. Who can tell time is not linear. Weavers of galaxies and universes, she enfolds us, transforms us, and holds us. Remember the wind, remember her voice, remember you are all people and all people are you. This granddaughter knows the loss of her motherlands on all sides of my family. And so I weave these stories of grandmothers, of the wind, of the universe. When does fire forget lightning? Should canyon forget river? My skin renounce fingerprint? Will honey deny the bee? Nakute, nakute, takamen. It must be now. It must be us. She is here, birth mother of all heavens, birth mother of every star, birth mother of each planet, birth mother of everything. She is here, life bringer, thought maker, thong weaver. She is here, receiver of all our dreams. Remember, you are this universe and this universe is you. Remember, all is in motion, is growing, is you. I honor my grandmothers 
with a work to help birth a new world into being, a world where no grandmothers need to choose between their homelands, their languages, their faiths to ensure that their grandchildren even have a chance to be born. My words are always collapsing upon themselves too tight in my mouth. I want a new language, one with at least 50 words for grief and 50 words for love so I can offer them to the living who mourn the dead. I want a language that understands sister pain and heart hurt. So when I tell you brother is the hook of my heart, you will see the needle threading me to the others, numbered men, women, and children of our grit spit city. I want a language to tell you about 2010's 37th homicide, the unsolved, a man that my city turned to number, sparking me back to longer days when Ocean is the mouth of summer, and our shell fingers dive into sand, searching. We find tiny silver sand crabs. We scoop and scoop until we bore and go in search of tangy seaweed. We are salted sun, how we brown to earth, our warm flesh flowering. In this new language, our bones say, sun and sea, reminding us of an old language our mouths have forgotten, but our marrow remembers. Remember, language comes from this. Remember, the dance language is that life is remember. Don't ask me to forget. Don't tell me this is over. Beneath sand and broken mountains, even the Mojave remembers the salt of a fickle sea. She is here and everywhere. While Euro Westerners define sacred as set apart or dedicated to religious uses, hallowed as opposed to profane, American Indians make no such arbitrary division. Most Euro-American or Euro-Western peoples tend to separate themselves from nature and to rank humans above. Native Americans believe themselves to be an integral part of the natural world. And though white Euro-Westerners have created the most self-centered ideologies of any race on the planet, Native American philosophies say they are our relatives. It is our duty to show them how to walk in beauty with us. Do with them what you will. Tell them to friends. Forget them. But don't say in the years to come that you would have lived your life differently if only you had heard this story. You've heard it now.
across the block. Go ahead, Belize, where I get my chala. Who reporting live from the universe? It's the First Nations MC. You could do the search. Who been through the worst? Surviving genocide, fighting for a better life. They try to set aside the true history and keep us mystical. They say they founded this country on biblical principles. It's so cynical, but I'm an analyst. It's murderous. They refer to us as merciless Indian savages. Now that's written in the Declaration of Independence. That's no kidding. Hey, open up your heart and let love lead the way. Light your path with the words that I speak today. Let the lessons flow, arrive, and bless your soul. Systematic racism, alive, intentional. No better, do better. It's the motto. It's the good medicine, the heart pill to swallow. No better, do better. It's the motto. It's the good medicine, the heart pill to swallow. His daily life was filled with ceremony, and every act had some significance. The Indian believed in the spiritual, the mysterious. If uh, you become a fan of Superman like I have, uh, or you want any information about the artists on, um, on the presentation today, Kia has made a wonderful resource list for us. I'll post it, but if you want a, a copy of it, I can also send it to you, just email me. Uh, the writers, the music, the poetry, um, this is a wonderful compilation of, of what we've seen. Also, if you'd like to stay after the service, please do. Uh, Key has given us some questions uh, that will promote reflection about the service and what we're about to do in our land acknowledgement. So please, uh, please stay or get your coffee and come back. Um, the closing words today are a poem, is a poem, are a poem uh, by Joy Harjo. Until a couple weeks ago, she was the first U.S. Native uh, Poet Laureate. There is one more song after the poem, so uh, just know it's coming. For calling the spirit back from wandering the earth in its human feet. Put down that bag of potato chips, that white bread, and that bottle of pop. Turn off the cell phone, your computer, the remote control. Open the door, then close it behind you. Take a breath offered by friendly winds. They travel the earth gathering essences of plants to clean. Give it back with gratitude. If you sing it, we'll give you spirit lift to fly to the stars, their ears and back. Acknowledge this earth who has cared for you since you were a dream planting itself precisely between your parents' desire. Let your moccasin feet take you to the enc encampment of the guardians who have known you before time, who will be there after time. They sit before the fire that has been there without time. Let the earth stabilize your post-colonial insecure jitters. Be respectful of all small insects, birds, and animals, people who accompany you, 
ask their forgiveness for harm that we humans have brought down upon them. Don't worry. The heart knows the way uh, through there may be high rises, interstates, checkpoints, armed soldiers, massacres, wars, and those who will despise you because they despise themselves. This journey may take you a few hours, a day, a few years, a hundred years, a thousand, or even more time. Watch your mind. Without training, it might run away and leave your heart for the immense human feast set by the thieves of time. Do not hold regrets. When you find your way to the circle, to the fire kept burning by the keepers of your soul, you will be welcomed. You must clean yourself with cedar, sage, or other healing plants. Cut the ties you have to failure and shame. Let go the pain that you're holding in your mind, in your shoulders, in your heart, all the way to your feet. Let go of the pain of your ancestors to make way for those who are heading in our direction. Ask for forgiveness. Call upon the help of those who love you. These helpers take many forms, animal, element, bird, angel, saint, stone, or ancestor. Call your spirit back. It may be caught in corners and creases of shame, of judgment, and human abuse. You must call it in a way that your spirit will want to return. Speak to it as you would speak to a beloved child. Welcome your spirit back from its wandering. It may return in pieces, in tatters, so gather them together. They'll be so happy to be found after being lost for so long. Your spirit will need to sleep a while after it's bathed and given clean clothes. Now you can have a party. Invite everyone who loves you and supports you. Keep room for those who have no other place to go. Make a giveaway. And remember, keep the speeches short. Then you must do this. Help the next person find their way through the dark. Indigenous people. Shine your light, we are equal. I remember the days when our prayers were illegal. I remember the days when being Indian was lethal. Yeah, we had a rough past, but get ready for the sequel. Get ready for the glorious comeback of our people. Oh, yeah. Rise up. All you warriors of love, all you answers to the prayers of our ancestors from above. I can feel it in my heart. Can you feel it in your blood? I can hear the sound of fire calling us to wake up, wake up. All nations rise, rise up cause now's your time. We don't have to hide anymore cause now's the time. We don't have to hide anymore cause now's the time With forgiveness as my bow and my prayers as my arrows Pull them back and let go I watch them fly like sparrows Have hope yeah, I have hope With compassion as my shield and faith Down to my marrow I will walk the pollen path Even when it gets narrow Yeah, yeah, I resurrect Yes, you can bet That we seen the single mama Raising children on the res We seen domestic violence Tear apart what we have left We seen the alcohol Take it all and leave us dead We seen the children take their lives When they can't take the dread anymore It's no more Can't take the dread anymore It's no more No, we can't take the dread anymore It's no more 
No, we can't take the dread anymore. It's a war, yeah. it's a war but we've seen it all before. And now we know we can change it, cause that's why we were born. We know we are the ones that we have been waiting for. We are the ones Grandma has been praying for. So rise up. All you warriors of love, all you answers to the prayers of our ancestors from above. I can feel it in my heart, can you feel it in your blood? I can hear the seven fire calling us to wake up. Wake up, pueblo hermoso. Levántense, es nuestro tiempo. No tienes que esconderte más. Ahora es nuestro tiempo. Mujer indígena, tú eres tan sagrada. Traigas medicina de tu suelo todavía A pesar del abuso de tu cuerpo y tu tierra Respetamos tus ancestros y la suya cultura Hombre indígena, tú eres honorable Y yo veo la fuerza que todavía sobrevive A pesar del abuso de tu raza venerable Yo respeto tus ritos, tus danzas, tus padres Somos guerreros del amor y guerreros de la paz Si sí, no vamos a escondernos más Somos guerreros del amor y guerreros de la paz Si sí, no vamos a escondernos más They say that history is written by the victors, but how can there be a victor when the war isn't over? The battle has only just begun, and Creator is sending his very best warriors. And this time, it isn't Indians versus cowboys. No, this time, it is all the beautiful races of humanity together on the same side, and we are fighting to replace our fear with love. And this time, bullets, arrows, and cannonballs won't save us. The only weapons that are useful in this battle are the weapons of truth, faith, and compassion. This concludes our service. If you'd like to stay 